I'm just following up my blog post about life in the maternity barn. So I wanted to share a little bit more about what we do, what the procedures are after a calf's born. But here I took a short video of walking through one of the pens of pregnant cows. There are two pens in this barn and it's nice and peaceful in here um, as, is, as are most of the um, barns on the entire farm. Um, but we're just watching for cows that might be calving and we're going to stroll through these two pens every at least 30 to 45 minutes if not sooner to make sure that if a cow is calving that we catch her in time so that we can move her over into a fresh and clean uh, stall of her own. That way she doesn't get disturbed by any other cow and she can relax and have her calf. And then after she has her calf we'll let her lick her calf off. And then we are going to write down the sex of the calf, the cow's number, what time it was born, and we're going to make sure that we um, write down if we had to pull the calf or not, and then we will tag that calf right away so that we know who the calf is and put iodine on its navel to prevent it from getting any infection there. So there's the iodine. And then we're also giving that calf a vaccination right away. And then we will do the most important thing within the hour of that calf being born, which is giving the calf colostrum. And the calf here was probably born, yeah, like I said, within the hour. And so I come in, the, I'm in the pen with the cow, which is actually a dangerous thing, but somebody is with me and I'm doing this. And as you can see, I keep kind of looking over my shoulder. Almost looks like I'm looking at the camera, but I'm watching that mo I'm watching that mother because sometimes these mothers can be uh, aggressive, not liking that I'm feeding her baby, even though it's good for the calf, because that colostrum contains immunoglobulins, um, which are um, from the mother passed down to the calf so that the calf has immunity and prevents it from getting sick. So we we do our best to make sure that that calf receives that colostrum within the hour of it being born, and then we will move it over um, to another pen. And from there, the calf raising crew will take it. But um, besides getting to work in the maternity area, um, in July here, I got to visit the Pacific Ocean for the first time in my life. Um, uh, Brenda and Steve Maddox, uh, the owners of the farm here, uh, took me and the other intern, Catherine, to Cayucas. And we got to go to a parade and uh, see the beach. And I got some pictures coming up here, but this was just a video I, I took while... Well, we were on our way because it was it was kind of surreal for me to finally finally see the other edge of the United States. So here I was on the beach uh, looking out underneath the pier and then the morning of the 4th there was sand sculptures and this next one, I wish I did it but I didn't. But it's hilarious because I'm from South Dakota. So the best I did was put my boots on the beach and then I wrote some words in the sand about cows for life. So um and here's a great saying that all should know and, and take to heart. Thanks for watching.